Last year, over 300,000 trail cameras were sold. These are great for photographing local wildlife and rare animals that are not usually seen by humans, but every so often they manage to capture things that leave us with many questions. This photograph has been posted to various online groups that investigate mysterious creatures. The post reads as follows. So the person on the left is me walking towards my ladder stand, and it looks like there's a person on the right. But I walked down myself and I didn't hear anything besides myself. I don't know if it was a ghost, a Sasquatch or an actual person. Give me your opinion. When people first saw this photograph, they could clearly see that it looks like there's something towering above the man, and that it can easily be seen in the right-hand corner, saying that it does look like a Bigfoot, and that it seems like there's something there because the eyes look like they're glowing. Many were impressed with the photograph, and said that it looks like the creature is bending down behind the tree, and that if it was standing, it would be quite a bit taller than the man. One person responded to the post saying the following, I have been in the exact same situation as the person in the photograph, except for the fact that I saw a pair of eyes light up while being on the trail on my own. When I saw them, I immediately froze where I was. I would like to think of myself as a pretty big guy. I'm over six foot two and whatever this thing was towed above me. It really did chill me to my core. Due to the darkness, I could only just about see the outline of this thing, and after what seemed like forever, it vanished into the woods. I made it back to my place and I remember feeling empty inside. I couldn't believe what i just encountered. I've never been out there in the dark again, and I still think about what it was I encountered that day. I definitely believe that these things are out there, and that every so often people do encounter them. One hunter responded with the following. I spend many hours outdoors, and I can tell you that it's definitely not a person standing there. It's way too big and to me it looks like it's crouching. This thing is super wide as well. I don't think I've ever seen a human with that type of build. There's always the chance that it could be nothing, and that something in the background is causing it to take on the shape of a humanoid but to me it looks like that something large is standing back there, and it doesn't look human. There's many trail cameras which can be found throughout North America, and have also allegedly captured the mysterious Bigfoot. Those who believe in the creature and have conducted various research, suggest that it's most commonly found throughout North America, although it's widely believed that it also inhabits various other regions throughout the United States. Others suggest that it may have been a ghost, saying that this isn't the first time that an entity has appeared on a trail camera. Those who follow the paranormal have said that these entities are soulless. They are remaining energy that's trying to find their way, and so no shadow or reflection can be made. As of right now, we don't have much information to go by. These paranormal beings have allegedly turned up in photographs, CCTV cameras and also trail cameras, but what they are is up for debate. The majority of eyewitnesses who see these entities report them as looking like solid beings, yet they appear to have the ability to vanish, and as reported in many stories, they also don't have things like shadows. Paranormal researchers say that although entities and spirits can sometimes appear to be solid, they are in fact just a manifestation although they do say that many of them can interact with the living world, and this is one of the reasons why they can be felt by people, and are also picked up in things like trail cameras. Bigfoot is one of the most interesting cryptids out there, not only because of the stories that's been told about it, but because of the amount of evidence that people have managed to collect. We have footprints, photographs and videos showing what looks like a large creature inhabiting America, some of these footprints have even confused scientists, with some saying that they don't match up with wildlife known to science, and that some of them even show things like dermal ridges. 
Interestingly, when people have gone on to conduct analysis on these images, some have discovered that some of the traits don't match up to that of a human. There's some Bigfoot researchers that have said that if you look at the facial features of a Bigfoot and compare them to a human's, the Bigfoot has a much more defined brow ridge and that the nose sits at a higher position in the face than that of a human. In fact, when you look at the facial structures of these creatures, they appear to have more in common to that of a chimp than that of a human, and this has caused some researchers to say that they're an entirely new species unknown to science. Others have said though that this argument doesn't hold up, and this could be faked by someone wearing a mask. Although some Bigfoot researchers have countered this, and said that a genuine Bigfoot's facial structure is much different to that of a mask, and that you can tell the two apart when they're lined up side by side. As of right now, there's still many that believe that Bigfoot is genuine, and that it's only a matter of time before we get evidence that will finally prove that it's real. NASA has said that if life exists on Mars, it will likely be hidden in underground caves. NASA have said that they're going to test this theory. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory research scientists have said that this idea is one that's been heavily discussed, and that they're excited to conduct tests to see if this theory holds up. Vlada Stemakovic, who works at NASA, said the following. The surface of Mars is a very oxidizing, radiation-heavy environment, where liquid water is not very stable for an extended amount of time. It's the worst place to look for life sites on Mars. Groundwater might be the only habitat for extent life on Mars, if it still exists. Other researchers have been vocal about the fact that Mars is a harsh environment, being dry, cold and having large amounts of radiation, or things that go against there being life on Mars. However, some researchers are open-minded and have said that there's a possibility that certain life forms may exist on the red planet. NASA said that underground tunnels could be hard to reach, and that small robots might be a good idea, saying that they would be able to reach certain areas on Mars that humans wouldn't be able to. NASA has said that over a thousand potential cave entrances have been mapped on Mars, and this is by the US Geological Survey's Astrogeology Science Center, Researchers at NASA have said that although the robots would be a great idea, and could access areas that humans wouldn't be able to reach, they would be extremely expensive to make. Another idea that's been put forward is that a rover could be used to sense and study underground water, with the team saying that overall this would probably be an easier mission. NASA's Penny Boston said the following, It's pretty clear to me that there's much to be done to seek life and certainly extinct life in a variety of environments on Mars. I think we all recognise that there's not just a single way to go to search for life on Mars. My own personal opinion is that it's time to line up missions with what the community is seeing in terms of return on investment, versus the difficulty of accessing any particular environment. It's been shown with Mars a campaign to systematically look for water, and now probe other aspects of habitat. I think people are often leery of the idea, because they think of caves as mines. Mines are dangerous because we've recently made those mines, and they are shored by human structure. Penn explained that caves are not as difficult as people might think, and this could be key to better understanding Mars. The European Space Agency, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, and NASA have been working very hard to find out if we're completely alone. Organisations are now sending probes and rovers to distant planets, in order to see if it hosts life. These missions have piqued the interest of millions of people worldwide, and due to our technology and the various photographs that get sent back, it's caused some to do a little digging of their own. It seems though that this has worked against the organisation, as people from various countries have managed to find mysterious anomalies on and around planets in our solar system. One of the most interesting discoveries is that of the Mars Tunnels. This discovery doesn't get much attention, 
but when it was discovered back in 1999, many people couldn't wrap their heads around what the Mars Global Surveyor captured. When the photographs started to get seen, various theories were put forward. One that received the most attention was that these photographs showed some type of ancient tunnel system. This for some was the proof that they'd been looking for, and that these structures were proof that an ancient civilization had called this place home. The Mars Orbiter Surveyor was launched on the 7th of November 1996. It had taken years to build this incredible piece of equipment, but it's noted by NASA as being the first successful mission to the Red Planet in over 20 years. The orbiter finally reached Mars back in March of 1999, where it would then go to map the train from a low altitude. Since this date it sent back thousands of images, interestingly many of which haven't been studied by researchers or scientists, and which some say do hide interesting anomalies that could help us to better understand the planet's environment. During this mission though, the spacecraft sent back some interesting photographs that some say can't be explained using natural explanations. As mentioned, one of the most interesting ones is that of the Mars glass tunnels. These mysterious tunnels have been described as looking like large impressive structures that didn't naturally occur on the planet. They have the typical shape of what you'd expect a tunnel to look like, and are now partially covered by the surface's terrain, causing some to say that these structures are tens of thousands of years old. Interestingly, other high-quality photographs show these tunnels as looking partially transparent. This was one of the first things that people noticed about them, with some saying that because of this translucent-like quality, it made them stand out against the Martian backdrop. Another idea is that these tunnel-like systems were created by giant iceworms. Iceworms are known to live in gravel beds or the banks of glacial ice. Some have suggested that this is what we're seeing here, but on a much larger scale, again suggesting that many years ago these creatures existed and carved out these large tunnels, but some have said this doesn't explain why the tubes appear to be partially transparent and this has caused some to put forward the idea that these may have been created by something else. Space agencies have said though that these are not tunnels, but rather are natural dunes that have developed over the years. NASA even came forward and backed up this statement. David C. Pieri, of Earth and Space Sciences Division of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, said that there's nothing mysterious about these glass tunnel anomalies, and that what we're looking at is just a Martian dune. Jerusalem is an important place for many people. It's widely considered one of the holiest places in the world, and every year between 3 and 5 million people visit the holy city. According to the New Testament, Jesus was brought to Jerusalem as a child, and since then those who have visited the ancient city have said they felt a connection. One thing it's not known for is that of mysterious flying crafts. It's odd to think that the two are linked, but every year people who visit and live around Jerusalem report seeing mysterious flying objects. Online groups are some of the best places to find these objects, and because the majority of them don't reach the mainstream media, many people never see them, and most of these photographs go unseen. One recent image that made its way to an online group was this one, and it shows a strange looking craft above Jerusalem. The person who posted the image explained that they were watching a live cam of the area, and said that they noticed a large looking craft hovering near the cloud line, estimating it was there for around 20 seconds or so before it quickly vanished. They said the following about the image, as I was watching the live cam, I suddenly noticed something close to the clouds. This thing emerged because it looked like part of the cloud covering had moved, which then revealed the craft that appeared to be hiding behind it. The only way I can describe it is that this thing was dark in the clouds, and was in the shape of a pipe. As I watched it, I could tell that it was just hovering there, and that it looked like it was disappearing every second or so although I think this was because the clouds were passing over it, which meant it was being partially concealed. 
After watching the craft for around 20 seconds or so, it then darted to the left of the screen out of view. I'm not sure what this thing was, but it didn't look like anything you'd normally see in the sky. It doesn't match any helicopter, plane or drone that I've seen. End quote. Due to the recent reports of strange looking objects above and around Jerusalem, it's caused some to label this place as a hotspot, with some locals reporting that they'll often see fast travelling objects in the sky that appear to vanish, large orbs that can be seen pulsating different colours, and large ships that have the ability to travel at extremely fast speeds, or while staying completely silent. It's for this reason that some amateur researchers have said that this place deserves the title of being called a hotspot, and that every year reports seem to increase. But as with the majority of places that report these kinds of activity, capturing them on camera is notoriously difficult, especially if they're high in the sky or travelling at fast speeds. Phone cameras aren't built to take photographs of small objects in the sky. The minute people try to do this, the end result usually comes out blurry. This has been tested time and time again, and even trying to video or photograph a plane in the sky is extremely difficult. These long cigar-shaped crafts are actually one of the most reported crafts, along with the Auburn disc. Eyewitnesses who see them often report these crafts as being long, black or grey in colour, slender, silent and also able to travel at high speeds. The issue that many amateur researchers have is trying to figure out what these things are, as no one has come forward to claim that it's them who's behind the sightings. One of the most interesting things about these crafts is that of their shape. They don't really match anything that we have in our skies. The only thing they could be compared to is that of an airship, but these are notoriously slow and can't vanish within the blink of an eye, with the top speed of these things coming in at around 70 miles per hour. The origins of these mysterious aircrafts are definitely not new, and they actually go way back before the invention of the aeroplane, with researchers saying that these were one of the first reported crafts that were seen in our sky that couldn't be explained. One person recently sent me the following message, I have a sighting that I'd like to share with you. I don't want to tell anyone I know about this because it goes against my beliefs. For the last few nights I've been seeing these strange lights above Jerusalem. I live very close by and I've never seen anything like it. The objects looked like they're large balls that will pulsate. I could see them flying around in the air at high speeds. Oddly though, they weren't making any sound while doing this. They would occasionally pulsate and then roam the area again. It almost looked like the lights were searching for something. They weren't just flying randomly, they were dipping down and then back up again. I tried to take some photographs but the lights were not very big, and they weren't showing up on the camera very well. It just looked like a blur when I saw the images. I've done some research online and I can see that others have seen strange lights in the sky above Jerusalem. I don't know what it was but I thought I'd share my experience with you. End quote. This eyewitness sounds like they saw an orb. These crafts are known within UFO circles as they've been witnessed by many people. These glowing orbs come in a variety of different colours ranging from blue, red, orange, yellow, pink, silver, green and black, and most people who have seen them have said they appear to pulsate, and that they can fly at extremely fast speeds. Those that have seen them have said they look to be under intelligent control, and that due to how fast they fly it's near impossible to get a high quality photograph. UFO researchers have looked into these reports and said that these crafts are some of the most interesting ones with some saying that they remind them of hyper-advanced drones. So what do you make of these interesting stories? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.